Well, hello, fellow constitutionalists. Uh, I just uh, I came across this article that I didn't get to share on the, the show today, and, and today is uh, July 18th, the year of the Lord, 2017. I just wanted to share this with you. It was about the Woman's March that happened this past Sunday. Um, it, I guess it really wasn't that big of a deal because there wasn't a whole lot of news coverage on it, but this article by Peter Hassan over at the Daily Caller. And uh, he's talking, the title of the, uh, the uh, article is Women's March Praises Cop Killing Terrorists. Now, the, the terrorists that they're talking about, and this has just been a recent designation of terrorists, and I'm not, I'm not going to try to explain that away or anything like that or disagree with it, uh, but the, the picture you see up here is Joanne uh, Chisimard. Uh, and it was her mugshot back in 1979, and, and she was convicted of killing a state trooper, uh, Werner Forrester, in New Jersey. And I don't want to get into a lengthy thing. There was she was arrested and tried and convicted on, or and and had mistrials and uh, hung juries on other issues and that. But they finally convicted her, and one of them was for the the murder of uh, Werner Forrester. And, uh, you know, she was going through appeal processes, moving from prison to prison to prison. Uh, some friends from the Black Liberation Organization of the time uh, faked their way into the prison she was at over in New Jersey and with guns took guards hostage and escaped. And uh, she's now living down in Cuba uh, as, a, as a political, um, <laughs> as a political, you know, under a political asylum down there in Cuba. And as far as I know, as far as I could see, she's still living there today. Um, and I, the only reason why I point this out is because they were praising her. Uh, they wished her a happy birthday on Sunday, calling her revolutionary and a sign of resistance. Um, I don't see how killing a state trooper is a sign of resistance. I don't see how all the things she did, and I mean, there, I was reading down through her her list here on Wikipedia, and it is, it is long. It talks about um, uh, she's convicted murder activist, a member of the far left Black Liberation Army. She escaped from prison in '79 after the murder of a policeman in 1977, and fled to Cuba in 1984, uh, gaining political asylum. Uh, between 1971 and 1973, she was uh, charged with several crimes and was subject to. A multi-state manhunt in May 1973, Shakar, is her name now, uh, Asata Shakar, not Joanne uh, Chisimard, um, was involved in a shootout in the New Jersey Turnpike, which New Jersey State Trooper Werner uh, Forrester was killed and State and Trooper James Harper was grievously assaulted. She was charged in these attacks and, and, and later on convicted. And there was another woman that they were actually talking about also on this day that was actually a, a, a speaker there, which I, I just, I, I couldn't believe. Uh, the Woman's March has welcomed radical individuals in the past, including convicted felon Donald, or Donna uh, Hilton, who was convicted of kidnapping a man and torturing him to death. And, and she took part in this with another group. Now, she wasn't there, but uh, the Woman's March is... And, and she was there in Washington when they had the, the big one after President uh, Trump was actually elected. And so you, you have uh, one, uh, a felon in exile in Cuba that was praised and happy birthday. And, and these are feminists now. These are modern feminists. And then you have uh, a woman like Donna Hilton who was talking at the last Women's March in Washington who's another convicted felon. We have two convicted felons and one. Now, Donna Hilton, she served her time. She got out. Um, Joanne uh, Chisimard is uh, still a fugitive, has not served her time, is in Cuba. Cuba won't extradite her. We don't have an extradition treaty. And so it just goes on and on and on. But the point I want to make here is this is the state of, of modern feminism in America today, where we have these, quote unquote, strong women that are praising these felons. And these felons, instead of being praised, uh, they should be a teaching moment saying this isn't what we want this isn't this isn't how we should do things but they didn't say that they didn't they actually with their praise of these two women allowing uh miss hilton to actually speak at the women's rally in dc they're actually giving their consent to what they did you know they don't see anything wrong in what they did because they were part of an oppressed group and so indiscriminately killing people 
like Joanne By or Joanne uh, uh, Chisimar did, or as Donna Hilton, which I think hers was actually worse. Uh, they got a hold of a homosexual and killed him. And let me just get over there real quick so I can have have the names in here. Um, uh, Vigil Vigilorolo. Uh, he. <laughs> They, they held him as a prisoner for 15, 20 days. They sexually assaulted him, and they ended up killing him. And she spent her time in prison. These are what the mo modern American feminists, these are the type of women that they praise. And just by giving, giving them a platform, instead of using them as a teaching moment, saying, again, I can't reiterate this enough, use it as a teaching moment saying, this is not what we're about. This We don't support this type of activity. They're, they're actually giving their consent to this type of activity. It's terrible. It, it, it is a disgrace. And, and it's no wonder uh, feminists out there are leaving. I don't know if they're leaving in droves, but some of the more famous ones are leaving the movement and realizing their mistake and what they were doing. And I applaud them for that. So, folks, you got to be careful with who you associate yourself with. And you got to be careful, you know, who you in, invite as speaking for you because it does show your ideas and it does show your uh, tendencies to violence like this because you think it's okay. These are just my thoughts about this issue about, uh, uh, <laughs> about Joanne uh, Chisimard and this uh, Donna Hilton. And it's just, it's, uh, again, what they, what they both did was despicable. One has served her time, but she's still a felon. The other one's in Cuba, has not served her time yet, and they're still trying to get her back today. If you like this video uh, in YouTube or Vidme, give me an upvote in Vidme and, and like it. Subscribe to my channel. I, I'm trying to put videos out every day uh, on these issues I think are important. Subscribe on YouTube, and I'll put a short description below in here, plus a link to the Wikipedia and some of these other articles I actually use. So I appreciate your time and your patience and, and hope to see you next time on the next video here.